What is up, Bearded Nation? Alec from Bearded Collectibles here, coming to you live from the shop. Uh, we are talking to Fern. He's he's on Team Bearded. Um, everyone, I guess people wanted to see this uh, crazy Frieza build that he has, right? Yeah. That's why you brought the Gen Con? Yeah, I did. And I know it's been a while since we posted stuff up online uh, from the podcast and stuff like that, but we are coming back. But first and foremost, Fern, let's get this started. Let's see what you got here. All right, so uh, this is a deck profile everyone wants to see. We got U7 Frieza as a leader. It's really good, uh, especially because you don't have to attack to draw cards. And you want to stay at a high health, but it's fine if you don't. So first off, we got for negates, we got Flying Nimbus. That's a good one. Yeah, I heard, I heard that's a good negate. Only <laughs> other spell that we run in this deck is uh, for Crusher Ball because we don't want uh, our opponents critting us down with all these one drops that they yep. play. We got Roshi, like best, one of the best negates for yellow. Right next to Nimbus. Now we got Ox King because we, we play a lot of one drops and we need them on the board to pull off this combo. Um, and if you get two on the board or even one, it's hard for them to deal with it without uh, them destroying your combo pieces. Uh, then we have three pants. These pants say you can pitch a card any turn and draw a card. It's good to, for uh, getting rid of dead cards that you don't need in certain matchups like Crusher Ball or um, other stuff to make you draw. Also to pitch your combos if you're playing against a stall leader. But if you're playing against uh, an aggro, you kind of want to save your combos and use them defensively. Sure. Um, we got the super combos everyone plays. Some universe zone freezes that are good. And uh, the spice right here, we got the three drop cooler that says- Whoa, what's that guy? Uh, he says, if you have three or more cooler armored squadrons, every cool in your hand gets an evolve cost of three yellow. What? So, Not all fern. So for the cooler armor squadron, we run, we run four of the blocker because he's pretty decent. And then uh, for this dude, usually you want to combo with them uh, defensively against aggro decks or even pitch them with pan. Um, but once you get three, then uh, you can go into this guy right here. Uh, and this guy says when you... Uh, what? You mean th this, this 50 cent card? Yeah, 50 this, cents. This 50 cent card, Fern. You can go to this 50 cent card right here. Three three yellow. So uh, what you do Kay. is you have a creature on the board, you exile it, and um, you can bring back uh, any Freezes clan. So there, There's not magic, so let, let people know uh, what exile means. You can remove it from play. There we go. Uh, so you can get these five drop Freezes out. Um, and they're really good, uh, especially against all these blocker apes that are running around. But mostly what you want to do is you want to bring out this seven drop right here, which says that your opponent, in order to do anything except keywords, he has to pay a life. So it's really good because on turn four- But he pays a life by the crit, right? He has to crit yeah, life. They, they crit their, their self. So if you, they don't want to attack you, then you just play this and you're at eight health and you let them uh, try and deal with it, which is fine. Because on turn four, you'll bring out this guy, and then this guy, and then you have a 30k double and a 30k triple, and you swing with them. Usually they'll try and get rid of this if you don't kill them that turn. Usually you want to kill them on the turn you bring it out, but then they still have like this to deal with. Because if they just kill this, you can bring it back next turn. So it's, it's pretty cool. Like. You usually pitch these on super early, so you don't want to have 1k combos in your hand when you defend. Um, depending on the matchups, like some matchups, like let's say SS3 and stuff, you want to keep Crusher Balls so they can't awaken. Yep. Keep them at six. Garudagar, Nimbus, Roshi. Uh, for SS3 and other stuff, you want to keep um, Ox King and everything. But since Chain Attack is pre uh, pretty dominant in the meta right now, and it can attack active battle cards. You wanna, the turn you wanna play this is a turn you also wanna awaken and evolve on top of it so they can't get to it. So usually that's around turn four, um, three yellow, you know, untap two, bam, go into another dude. Make sure you have Roshis on the board. You don't wanna sack this guy ever. But yeah, that's pretty much the deck. It's uh, really fun to play. Um, I got pretty far. The only times I lost were like in both of my winning innings. And uh, it was because 10 drop foo is really insane in SS3 um, and best of three. Because once they get him out, it's hard for me to do his skills. But yeah, like this is a really good best of one deck. Uh, 
if you know how to play it right and pilot it right, then uh, you could probably top locals. I mean, I play it all the time. So, what was your hardest match? You said it. So, not, not the car, but what was your hardest match at Gen Con? My hardest match was Harutagarn only because uh, they want to kill you on turn two. But as long as you like have your Crusher Balls and your Nimbuses, you'll be fine against Harutagarn. And since they awaken you, you'll be able to evolve, uh, drop this, and then evolve on the same turn. Pretty simple. But yeah, Harutagarn was a problem. I don't think. Um, I haven't really played against a Vegeta that much, but I don't think it'd be such a big deal. You ultimate box Vegeta, right? Yeah. Kay. I don't think it'd be such a big deal because this is like a deck that can uh, outrun your opponent. Like, it's well, the ultimate ultimate box Vegeta, they, they like to they like to energy lock you per se. Yeah. Um, so you don't think so? Because I mean, what well, what's the highest evolve cost? The highest evolve cost is three, three yellow. Three yellow. And like, you mostly want to charge yellow, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, I think against the Vegeta, what I would personally do is probably just Nimbus, and then just try and get to my three energy. Play this card, have Ox King on board. Most of my cards are one drops, it'd be fun. Yeah, yeah, because usually, uh, yeah, oof. This is crazy. You yeah. Guys, anything else you want to tell the players that uh, we're asking about this deck? Oh yeah, um, just one shout out to Matthew Coombs. To who? To Matthew Coombs right. for the deck profile. And uh, to everyone on Team Bearded and every uh, the community. Everyone, when I go to conventions, they're so nice. Like, I love this community. Just Everyone just try to have fun. It's not about winning, it's just about playing the game. Fair. Uh, so I guess that's your final words then, right? Yeah. All right, guys, you guys are going to see this uh, as well as more content on, on the Bearded Collectibles Facebook or, and the YouTube page. There it is. We zone out, zoom out. Yeah, he, he mixed it up, but uh, if you guys need a deck list, just message Fern. Yeah, I got some Mimi deck lists. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. All right, guys, have a good one.